Hey guys, Farm Boy Reef here again. So I went to my local fish store and I picked up uh, two new corals today. And I'm going to show you how to do the, the Revive. So revive Coral Cleaner before you put them in your tank. So I'm going to add four capfuls of this to the water. 3.8 liters of water of your aquarium water you need. To soak your corals in. So I'm just going to add the rest of the water to it. I've been acclimating my corals for a couple hours now, so they're well uh, well acclimated. I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. My little homemade stir stick here. So I end up, I got a Superman Monopora. I'm going to glue that on the back of my tank as well. And I got uh, this really, really nice uh, purple chalice that I'm going to glue on the back of the tank. The Superman Monopora I might put on the on the rock because it really wants like really high high light, so the radions will really hit it hard. So my first one I'm going to dunk in, into here is going to be the chalice. Give it a dip. So there's the chalice in there. Move it around a bit. Make sure I clean them all up real nice. I don't want to get any little pest and hitchhikers into my tank. So you can tell it's a really nice uh, size frag. So you end up you're going to want to you're going to want to leave that in for at least 15 minutes. So put your timer on. So 7:15 now. So just going to let that soak. You can see all, all the stuff coming off it. It's hard to tell, but if you look really close, you can see some little critters. You want to make sure you don't get any flatworms or any other kind of pests in there in your tank. So you let that soak. And then I got my other one, Superman Monopora. Put it in here as well. Give that a couple, move it around a bit, make sure get any pests off of it. And let them soak. Just keep aerating them up a little bit. I like to take it out with a little toothbrush. Clean the bases, any little eggs or anything. You don't want to get in, into the tank. This one's got like, uh, I don't know if you can see it. See the Superman Monopora there. You can tell if the colors is higher, but you'll be able to see them under the under your tinnix. And just clean that frag up real nice. So you don't get no uh, pests in your tank. It's got some a uh, little bit of green plant growing on here. I don't really want to clean that off now. So that's the Superman Monopora. You can see the blue and then the, the polyps, they come out, they uh, become red. They're a swoosh. And this is the, the chalice. It's hard to tell, but it's a blue and purple chalice. I'm going to do the same thing again on the bottom. So you can see any little pests, any eggs. So this one I'm going to glue on the back of the tank where there's, there's less light. They don't like as much light, so on the sides, they're not in direct light of it. So hopefully it'll encrust the back of the tank. Clean that right up real nice there. Any little bugs, pests, flatworms, nuisance snails, you name it. Clean them up. All right. Move them around a little bit more, leave them in for a few more minutes, and after that I'm going to wash them all up and get them ready for the main display tank, and I'll show you where I'm going to set them. Thanks for watching uh, Farm Boy Reef. This was uh, Coral Dipping with Revive Coral Cleaner by Two Little Fishes. It cost me $9.99 when I was in Toronto. So uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, and um, I'll show you on the, the next one. We're going to glue them 
glue the one on the back of the tank and the one that's going to go on the rocks. Thank you.